everybody, my name is Eva. Thanks for joining. Today we do have an unboxing, but first I just wanted to show you my bag of the day. This is the re-edition of the Coach Willis. So when I was watching the playback of the video where I told you the story about how I was becoming interested in vintage Coach bags, this, by the way, this isn't quite vintage yet, but <laughs> I included it in the video because it was interesting to me. I noticed that I hadn't taken the tag off yet, and it was, you know, right here, and I was like, why didn't I take that tag off before I made the video? So it was really bothering me. And so I decided to uh, cut the tag off and actually start using this bag. And I'm just having fun using it. Okay, so let's get to it. Time for the unboxing. All right, Charlie, where are you? Are you ready for this box? So this is the K crossbody. It's a vanity case with a little turn lock. I just couldn't help myself because it was because it was originally like a $200 bag. Well, I mean, not their suggested retail price, but where it was sitting on their website was hovering around the $200 price. And it came down in price and then they were running a promotion. It had extra percentage off almost at the half price point. So that's when I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So let me look it over and wrap it and then we'll see what it really looks like. I think it's a really cute bag with a combination of the wicker straw and the leather trim. This bag came in both this brown leather trim and it's also available on the Coach Atlow website in a lighter color. I think it's probably like a chalk or off-white color here at the top. And it has a turn lock opening and this is how you get into the bag. This catches a little bit on that wicker. And it's lined in like a, a brown fabric lining. Then there's a slip pocket here on the back wall of the bag. It's a small slip pocket. And that makes sense because it's a pretty small bag. But it's really cute. And here is, here's the back of the bag. They've got these rivets here attached to keep the, you know, the lid on. And it has a little teeny tiny top handle, which is I think is so cute. And I like the design of this bag, how they've got the uh, strap attached here on the sides instead of the top handle. And speaking of the strap, it has a little bit of a chain portion in the silver hardware and the rest is in leather. I also like that design. It has six holes for adjustment. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but it, the strap here is removable if you wanted to take it off. One more really nice detail is that the hang tag is metal. <laughs> that is so cute. I knew I would like this style of bag, the K, because I have it in another variation. I'll show you. This is my K vanity case in the chambray denim. I really enjoy using this bag. It has this light uh, le leather trim. It kind of looks like Viketa. So this is what made me think that I would really enjoy this little wicker bag as well in the K vanity case. So it is quite small. If you're thinking about this bag, and if you're wondering what would fit, I can show you a couple of things that would fit here. I have the largest size phone, the Pro Max size phone, and it does fit in there very easily. I've got a pair of readers down on the top, and like I mentioned, I've got my phone in there. And then I've got two card cases, one from Tory Burch, and then one from Coach, and a pack of gum, a hand sanitizer, and then my key fob down in the bottom. So that's a little what fits in the bag. The only thing that I'm noticing as I'm using the bag is just that the, the opening, the top of the bag gets caught a little bit on the wicker. That's the only thing that I'm, I'm noticing as I'm opening and closing the bag. So here's what the bag looks like on in case you're thinking about this either in this wicker style or when they have a different variation of this k crossbody in the future i mean i think it's really cute it sits right here nicely on my hip i do have a special or a special occasion wicker bag that i will be showing you in the near future so do come back do subscribe if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate that and you take care and i'll see you in the next one